Hey guys, welcome back to Rosonary TV. I'm Joe and I'm here for a new video to bring you the latest news going on at AC Milan. Now, as I'm sure you're all aware by now, there was some sort of confrontation last night uh, between Carlos Baca and Brocky. Now, if you haven't watched the game or you're unaware of the episode, uh, Baca and Brocky had a long stare down when he was substituted in the 69th minute in yesterday's game uh, and this occurred until the moment that Baca got off the field. Now afterwards many reports were actually saying that Baca was one of the first ones to leave the San Siro and there were a lot of talks about this episode during the rest of the night on social media and also on many TV channels. Now, on a positive note, however, Baca came out today and apologized to Brocky and the rest of the team by saying, I want to apologize to all my teammates, the coach, and the fans for my bad attitude last night. It was definitely just a moment where I thought I could help the team on the pitch, and I want to say that I give all my support to everyone in this team and for the shirt. Finally, he said that he's already preparing for Monday's fixture against Elas Verona. Now, Brocky acknowledged this gesture by Baca and praised him for doing so. Now, personally, I think that these things occur uh, very often in every sport. It's not just cultural, but especially when you have so much pressure to perform every week and uh, it's just not going your way, I think uh, some feelings intensify in such a way that uh, you're not really uh, cautious of what's occurring or uh, at least what you're doing to the rest of the team. Uh, now, sometimes these types of things are hidden from the media, but uh, yesterday's episode was evident because it was during the game, so all the cameras were on this event. Uh, but finally, I'm happy that everyone is on good terms again and that they're already focusing on the next match. On another note, Berlusconi also mentioned last night that he wants to sell Milan so that the club could continue its glorious history. However, he said that you won't sell until he makes sure that whoever ends up actually buying the club or acquiring some of the stakes will have to be able to promise in some way that Milan will be in safe hands. Now, I think this kind of feels uh, like the whole thing uh, dilemma thing with uh, Mr. B. Uh, I mean, there's definitely a lot of interest from different investors, uh, but Berlusconi must be serious, in my opinion, if he wants to sell the club and actually put the effort to negotiate with these people. What I mean by this is that I hope the whole scenario with Mr. B doesn't reoccur again, where they kept postponing meetings and uh, the closure for the whole deal to actually be accepted. Uh, so right now, the sole idea and reports of this uh, Chinese group actually being interested in acquiring and uh, possibly finalizing a, uh, a purchase maybe this summer. I'm not currently buying it due to past experiences uh, with that thing with Mr. B. So uh, I think I'll just wait on for this and I'm sure you guys should do the same because I mean last summer we were all deluded with this um, thing about Mr. B and it never occurred. So I think we should just wait uh, for some official communication and hopefully uh, this thing will actually be done sooner rather than later. As usual guys, let me know your comments and thoughts on these news in the comments section below. I'm curious to know what you guys feel about Baca and Brocky's situation as well as Berlusconi's possible sale of the club. Don't forget to subscribe to Rossoneri TV to stay updated with everything related to AC Milan as we post daily news, match previews, reviews and much more for you to stay updated with everything going on at the club. This has been Gio signing off from Rossoneri TV and as always, Forza Milan! Just a horrible performance from the team in general. I don't understand how you could have so much possession but at the end of the day, uh, you only manage to get 3 shots on target if you even want to consider them shots.